Hi, I'm Dr. Neha Gupta, Senior Infectious Diseases Physician and Expert in Fever, HIV, TB and Complicated Infections. And today I'm going to discuss on the importance of blood cultures in the management of infections. So three points, what is the need for blood cultures? Second is the right method of collection and third is interpretation of the blood cultures. So need for blood cultures. Why blood cultures karana chahiye? Itne sare to test hai hamare paas mein. Jaise CBC ho gaya, creatinine, liver function test, ya fir dengue test, including NS1, IgM, IgG dengue, rapid malaria test. Inse to diagnosis ban sakta hai. Vidal test bhi hai hamare paas mein. To blood cultures ki kya avashakta hai? So there are certain, these tests are serological tests, especially Vidal. Vidal is not to be done for the diagnosis of infections like typhoid. It is not specific. Positive Vidal can any infection. Mein aa sakta hai. In fact, patients who have chicken pox or a viral infection, hui hai, usme bhi Vidal test positive. Aa jata hai. Aur us positive Vidal ko leke hum bolte hai ki typhoid and aur uski tarah, us, us direction mein treatment chalne lagta hai. So, it leads to mistreatment of the infections. So, for the diagnosis of infections, we need to do blood cultures also. Blood culture may patients ka blood sample liya jata hai and that is put into this blood culture bottle which is then sent to the lab for incubation. Or is blood culture bottle may aise nutrients hote hai which allows the growth of the bacteria. And jab hume bacteria pata chal jayega ki ye bacteria se fever a raha hai ya infection ho rahi hai tab hum bohat sateek ilaj kar sakte hai. Because First of all, it helps in the diagnosis, which bacteria, whether it's a salmonella, it's a staphylococcus aureus, urine infection resulting in bloodstream infection with E. coli, klebsiella or some other infection which is causing the fever and sepsis-like syndrome that can be diagnosed with this positive blood culture. And secondly, it also gives us कि कौन कौन से एंटीबायोटिक्स हैं जो ससेप्टिबल हैं और काम कर सकती हैं साथ में उनका MIC भी मिलता है which is a minimum inhibitory concentration ये बत, ये बता सकता है कि किस एंटीबायोटिक से इस पेशेंट में ज़्यादा इफेक्टिव आउटकम या क्योर रहेगा so second that is why we should do the blood cultures now second is the right method of collection अगर हम सैंपल ही ठीक तरीके से नहीं कलेक्ट करेंगे so, then bacteria can grow anything. It can be a contamination and may not be the right pathogen. So, that is why right method of collection is very important and it should be clean collection of the sample. So, first of all, where we collect, which is a percutaneous puncture, so it should be with 0.5% of chlorhexidine with alcohol or tincture iodine. Just clean it inside out, allow it to dry, draw the sample, inoculate it into the blood culture bottle after cleaning the top of the bottle bottle there is no need for any change of the needle and once the sample is collected then quick transport to the lab within two to four hours so that we can isolate the right bacteria do not refrigerate this particular blood culture bottle second is the volume of collection most important uh, factor which determines ki bacteria isolate hoga that depends upon the volume of the blood sample taken it does not depend upon ki kab sample collect kiya hai patient ko fever aa raha hai ya nahi aa raha hai it does not matter at that point so it should be um, ideally it should be at least two sets in a patient who is admitted and it, it can be one set or two sets depending upon the clinical condition of the patient if the patient is in the OPD. So one set is two bottles from single percutaneous puncture and two sets is four bottles, two bottles from one percutaneous puncture and two bottles again from the another percutaneous puncture and in case the patient is hospitalized then one set is equal to two bottles from one percutaneous puncture and the second set should be from the central line and this is also very important because it will help us in the diagnosis of line related infections in the hospitalized patients. If we have one set, one bottle, bas bhej rahe, to the chances of isolating the bacteria is just 10 to 15 percent. But with one set, 
the chances increase to 60%. With two sets, it's 85%. And with three sets, it is 90%. So, it volume matters. And if we get bacteria, mil jayega, uh, diagnosis ho jayega, to it just overcomes. It's not very expensive because the cost of giving the antibiotic in the hospital is much more than the cost of the blood cultures. Interpretation of the blood cultures is very important. Agar coagulase negative staphylococcus isolate ho hai to then it is a contamination usually. Whereas if it's a single blood culture which is positive with staphylococcus aureus or candida, uh, then it is a significant pathogen should not be ignored. E. coli, Klebsiella, agar maan lije blood mein aa hai to we must rule out what is the cause. Is there any kidney infection or a uh, gastrointestinal infection which is resulting in this particular problem. This is a misconception that blood culture result five days ke baad mein hi aata hai. Most bacteria which are causing infections, pathogens, they grow within the first 24 hours. So it is important that we draw the blood cultures and that too before starting the antibiotic therapy so that we can diagnose the right cause for the fever and infection as early as possible. So I hope this particular information has been useful and it will help in the right diagnosis and management of infectious diseases. Thank you so much. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.